Let's see how we can use Digitrains Pro with uh, the DR5000 command station. Here we have a very big layout. We have the DR5000. The Wi-Fi is on and it is connected uh, to our layout, which has a station here, as you can see. And also we have another station here. Both of them are uh, controlled with Digitrains Pro. This is an iPad with the dispatcher game layout, as you can see. And here is an old uh, Android tablet, which also uses uh, Digitrains Pro with the dispatcher game and the station speaker. So, now let's connect to the DR5000 uh, digital command station. I will use an iPhone uh, for it, but you can use an Android phone, tablet, iPad, or a, a Windows 10 uh, PC or tablet as well. So, first of all, I will uh, connect to the DR5000 Wi-Fi. As you can see, here is the DR5000. The default password is uh, usually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I already uh, typed it in, and now we are connected, as you can see. So, after we have installed the Digitrains Pro application from the App Store, now we can start it, and we need to connect uh, to DR5000. So we go to the main menu, press the connection. And now we can see here the compatible uh, command stations. And now I will use DR5000. So we can see that it is now connecting and it is connected and it is in normal operation. Also you can see uh, with this uh, green play button that now the connection is okay. Uh, we have here in the main menu settings a DR5000 settings as well. So here uh, you can uh, set the IP address of the DR5000, which is in default this IP address. So uh, this is uh, default in Digitrains Pro as well. So if you don't change it in the DR5000 uh, Wi-Fi settings, then you can use this one. If you use a router, for example, with the DR5000 together and you have a different IP address, then you should uh, set it here as well, so Digitrains Pro know, will know which IP address to use to connect to the DR5000. For additional information, here you can see links to open the DR5000 homepage and the YouTube setup video as well. So feel free to use them if you, you didn't manage to, to connect. And you can also contact the Digitrains Pro developer uh, on info at Digitrains that who email address but you can found it also here in the main menu so with this email uh, you can always uh, contact uh, the de developer if you cannot connect so that's it and you are ready to uh, use it uh, let's just try um, for example um, if uh, if the um, track power off is working or not. So you can see that after I pressed the track power off button, then the R5000 now it's also in track power off mode. And then I press play and now it's also working as well. So, so that's it and uh, now we are ready to play. So let's go and add this locomotive. So let's see how to do it. Okay, I go and press this plus button and I will give a name for it, which is uh, M41. And the address is uh, 64. So this is the digital decoder address, which you set in CV1. This is already set. Okay, uh, we can uh, make photo or choose one from the gallery. I will take take a photo now. So I go here. 
take the photo and let's say that okay I will use this photo okay and now we see that the locomotive is uh, added so I select it and start with the locomotive in other direction so you can see that it's working now uh, also I can uh, put the light on I can use the minus button to slow down the plus button to increase the speed or I can use this uh, slider as well and then press the stop button to to stop with the locomotive uh, if I press the stop button uh, with the long press then this is an emergency stop so the locomotive will stop automatically.